Good morning and welcome to LU Live Church. This is your live host, the Reverend Dr. Dornicia Palmer. The, the topic today, love, loved, loving. 22nd of August, 2021. Can you believe how fast the month has gone already? Well, here we are. The song says, love makes the world go round. And another song says, love lifted me when nothing else could. A passage of scripture reads, God is love. And of course, you have heard it here before, and you're hearing it here this morning at LU Life Church. Love will take you higher. Love will satisfy your soul and make you whole. Love, love will take you higher. Love, love will satisfy your soul. Love will satisfy your soul. Love is the summit of all desiring, of all gifts to receive, and of all gifts to give. Love surpasses and is the most worthy, precious substance there is. Will it put food on the table, you say? Will it heal my aching body? Will it bring me joy and make me happy? Will it make me better? Well, today my answer is yes. Someone asked, so how does that work? Don't you always have that someone? <laughs> that's me, you know, I'm always asking. And that's a good question. Number one question. Brilliant. You see, it's about, and it belongs, really depends on your believing. You will have two people, right, brought up in the same home. Twins even. Yet each person desires something different. How's that? One will turn out different, guarantee, to the other. And I know the trend today is to clone, to clone us all. But believing cannot be cloned or contained, okay? Individual belief cannot be contained or, hmm, or kept for too long. You can try to do it for a moment, not even that. You cannot contain it. Because within each breath advances a person or a thing. And it is not called time. You might think it's called time, the advance. Although it appears that way, rather it is about life and what you believe in that moment. Do you feel safe? Do you even notice when you feel safe? Ever notice that? You don't even notice the moment when you are really feeling safe. Such moments then are like delight, play, mindful, tranquil, carefree even. But when you fear, worry, or stretch every or stress every second counts, you are counting it down, waiting and wanting the present. You know, just hating the present basically, remembering the past and what you hated or disliked or lacked within that moment and or you dread wishing about the next day, the next thing, the way things are going to turn out or what it's going to bring and you hate what you do not like. So this brings us back to our topic, love, the only escape. In fact, I call this the great escape. <laughs> it's, that's what I call it, the best escape and the best escape is love. And, and this is more than a feeling. But oh, what a feeling love gives you. You may have a million dollars this morning, but if you do not have love, you are the poorest, most miserable person in the world. Because love is not a feeling, yet it feeds the feeling and changes one's whole life. Changes what you eat and how you eat, what you think and how you think, what you do and how you do. How do you do? This is really no word you're going to look up in the dictionary. But look, I've gone ahead and I've looked up this word in the dictionary for you. Because really no one sentence or one word is going to fully capture what I'm talking about. 
But here is, is, is it, as far as I found on the web. It says a feeling, an emotion of care or affection. A dramatic sudden feeling of attraction and respect. Extreme feelings of attachment, affection and need. A willingness to prioritize, I don't know about this one, a willingness to prioritize another's well-being or happiness above your own. It sounds good, doesn't it? But if you don't love yourself and you put somebody first and you haven't put yourself first by loving yourself first, I really don't know how you're going to know to love that person. Nevertheless, that's a, that's one of the definition in, in your on the web in terms of your dictionary definition of love. It goes on to say an intense feeling of deep affection, a great interest or pleasure in something to like or enjoy very much. And I'm going to cut it down this morning or it says adoration. However, all that is good and graded, you know, but can you survive on that alone? Or will that put or keep food on your table? Will you heal your body? Will those words satisfy your soul? Maybe they can. This love I speak of is not a word or a thing, or not just feeling, no thought. So what in mother's world is it? It is, <laughs> that's it, simply is. It simply is, love is. Formless substance of rich, infinite, pure, good, healthy, giving, life giving, wealth giving. So you say, where can I get me some of that? Yeah, yes. Right here in this moment. Stop. Listen. Are you listening? Are you listening? Breathe. And out. Stop. Listen. Breathe. Ah. So many have thought that it's just about your breath. And that is good because it's good when you know what breath is. So how do you treat Breath is what really matters. Love, love is all around you. It's around you as the seeing you, hearing you, and substance you. So allow your senses, just for a moment, all your senses. It's really um, interesting because in Life University, the first lesson, you want to sign up. You want to go on, go online, go on, go on Google, sign up to to um, Life University, um, you look for that, um, Life University, sign up for the classes because the first class is going to be about your 11 senses. We've just been told you've got six cents, five senses. <laughs> you know, if some people even talk about the sixth sense, we're talking about the 11th sense. But anyway, that's not for, for this, this um, church here. So allow your senses just for this moment to drink it all in. What are we drinking in, in this realization and this spacious consciousness? We're drinking in air wealth. You know, you see a person and in this um, social distancing, we, distancing period, we said air hugs and you sort of, and that person know you're throwing them a hug and they actually feel hugged. Do you realize that psychologically you actually feel hugged? That happened to me yesterday. Really funny, a person said, air hug because we couldn't hug and you know I felt the warmth and they were given that warmth in the same way in this moment of our awareness come into awareness let go and stop the, the uh, mind chattering the thinking and come present and in this present spaciousness of your breath awareness drink in the moment and in this moment of seeing hearing substance is wealth. Drink in air health and feel it all around you. And as you become conscious of your wealth, which is your health, your well being, your love, the love substance, 
air substance, love air substance, I call it. Recognize in that your health in the awareness. Recognize your freedom from slavery. Recognize your chance to do and be someone greater. Not like somebody else, but you're greater. Affirm this right now. Affirm this. Love fills my life now. Will you affirm that with me? Become present. Are you present? Now affirm this. Love fills my life right now. Love fills my life now. Affirm it until you can confirm it. That's copyright, by the way. Copyright to Lady Donny Palmer. Affirm till confirm. Have you affirmed it? You can't confirm it straight away, but you will as you continue to affirm it. It will become a sure confirmation in your life space. Then you will begin to act on it. As you act on it, it change your life. It change your job. If you have to change your job, change your job, but change yourself first. Love yourself first. When you love yourself first, recognizing that love is all there is, then you open the treasure door. Listen carefully. You open the treasure door to abundance. You open it to abundance. Because like attract life. Like attract like. So as soon as you love and believe it, remember I told you, isn't it believing? As soon as you love it and believe it, as soon as you love and you believe it, you're the wealthiest person on earth. <laughs> someone or something, but more likely someone or more will be drawn to you, attracted to you. So love become loved and vice versa. Then comes the flow. Being love and love, you open the door to the flow. Ah, and the flood. The flow becomes a flood. The flood is an avalanche. The avalanche is a tuna, tuzami. Do you call it tuzami? <laughs> An abundance of loving. So here you can swim. Here you can float. Here is provision. Here is flow. Enter now into the flow. Enter now into your love, your moment with God. Love your God. Love your joy. Love your beauty. Allow into this sacredness, into your soreness. Because many are sore today. Many are sour today. Enter your sourness into this love moment. Enter this your poverty into this love moment. Enter your hate. Enter your decision making into this love moment. Enter your low confidence into this love moment. Enter your dreams. When you begin to dream from the place of love, love happens. The dream begin to blossom. The blossom begin to produce and here is your abundance feel into it this morning feel into it feel into love become it ah it will soon attract to you what you need you will then be loved and by being loved you will be loving by being loving the flow is open and everything becomes possible. You got your list, lose your list and enter love. Thank you. Have a blessed, loving week, my friend. This is the Reverend Dr. Donicia Palmer. Why not go over after you finish listening to this live, go over and listen to it a few times this week and get it in you. Do your first loving thing before you leave this morning and give us a loving donation. Head over to the PayPal link below in the description below or directly to your PayPal account and give us a love offering today. Be loving and send this forward to somebody or some of your family members or friends. This is called Share the Love. 
or leave us simply leave us a comment give us a thumbs up and for love's sake for god's sake love yourself today and do the right thing always bless you love you this is the reverend dr Donicia palmer signing out at lu life church have a fantastic loving week